But first, your drinking water might be changing. What lawmakers are doing to control how much lead and copper is in that water. For the first time in decades, the EPA is rolling out a new plan to reduce the risk of lead exposure. And hello again, I'm Steve Rabel. I'm Monique Minglavin. Cairo 7 South Sound reporter Shelby Miller is live in Olympia to explain how this national plan will make an impact right here in the Pacific Northwest. Shelby? Exactly. And when you come to a fountain like this one here, you want to believe that the water you're drinking is safe. Well, the EPA says these new standards will limit lead in our waters and protect future generations. Corbin and Ava love playing in the water. Their mom, Ellie McMeans, wants to make sure they stay safe. That includes steering clear of lead. We want them drinking clean, filtered water. Um, Drinking out of the hose, I don't know if that's clean or not. Thursday, the Environmental Protection Agency unveiled a plan to overhaul how communities test for lead. The proposal includes being transparent about toxicity findings, pinpointing where problems are, and replacing existing lead lines. The end result is we want to make sure that kids aren't, aren't uh, subjected to high levels of lead in their drinking water. We've learned from uh, Flint, Michigan, and some of the mistakes that were made there, and we want to move forward. Lauren Jenks is with the Washington State Department of Health. She says lead can have a big impact on a child's brain development. So providing an environment for kids that has as little lead in it as possible is really important to help all our children develop to their, to their fullest potential. They're working with schools across the state to make sure kids are drinking clean, lead-free water. Cairo 7 recently followed the school testing process with the DOH. The agency is prioritizing lead testing at the oldest schools with the youngest children. Junk says the biggest risk is often at home, where children can be exposed to lead in paint, water, and even dirt. The EPA believes these stricter lead standards will help keep kids like Corbin and Ava safe. And the standards that we have right now have been in place nationwide since back in 1991. The EPA says we'll learn even more about this over the next few months. Reporting live in Olympia, Shelby Miller, Cairo 7 News.